Meet Rohit. He has recently joined the department as an assistant section officer. Rohit is going to learn about GEM or the government e-marketplace in this module. A purchase order of 150 laptops. I think I should reach out to my senior to understand how to place it. Welcome Rohit. I am happy that you have come to me to ask about it. Let me take you through the entire process of GEM step by step. Thank you ma'am. This module is designed to introduce various steps which are involved in the process. By the end of this module, learners should be able to state the purpose and objectives of GEM, explain the ecosystem of GEM from the buyer's side, state the prerequisites for buyer registration on GEM, explain the process of bid creation on GEM, state the process of awarding a bid on GEM, Describe the process of processing an order through CRAC. Explain the PFMS payment method. What is GEM? GEM or the Government E-Marketplace is an online platform that provides end-to-end -end solution for procurement of commonly used goods and services for all central government and state government ministries, departments, public sector undertakings, PSUs, and affiliated bodies. It was launched on 9th August 2016. The platform facilitates fair and transparent buying and selling of products and services. GEM was set up to ease the procurement and buying process for the government and the sellers. It fulfills a number of objectives such as increase access for procurement in terms of broader outreach, wider variety of goods and services, increase transparency and efficiency with respect to time and cost of procurement, encourage small business units or individuals to do business with the government and make procurement data easily available for auditors, administrators, vigilance, etc. Wonder how can I register myself on GEM? Well, Rohit, since you are an ASO, you will be registered as a secondary user on the portal. However, first let me tell you about primary user registration and the prerequisites for it. Primary user registration is authorized at the level of Deputy Secretary or Equivalent Officer of Government Organization or PSU or autonomous bodies or local bodies or constitutional bodies or statutory bodies or head of the officers at sub-center or unit or branch. The primary user cannot place orders on the GEM portal. Once the primary user account gets activated, primary user in turn can create secondary users who can be any official with specific roles such as buyer, consignee and DDO or PAO. The primary user can also use the option of manage posts and deactivate or transfer the secondary user profiles. I need to place an order for 150 laptops. How do I place the order through GEM? It's quite easy to place an order for a product on GEM. You can create a bid. Let me tell you more about it. Log in to the GEM portal with the user ID and password. Select the product first to begin with bid creation. Go to the shop by category and select product category. Once the product is selected, different filters namely administrative, financial, make or model, Product specification will appear on the screen. Apply the filters to move ahead in the process of bid creation. Selecting a filter will enlist the criteria. In the administrative filter, two options given are bid oblique RA and pack. Bid oblique RA is selected if the objective is to select different makes and models and to browse through market without any restrictions. 
consignees and quantity can be edited in this selection so to begin single consignee and quantity can be selected pac is selected for buying specific oem in pac approval of component authority is needed and only specific makes and models can be bought multiple makes and models are also not allowed other criteria included in administrative filter are years of experience with government msc whether the company is a startup seller registered address seller rating and whether the product is made in india the financial filter allows the user to select a minimum annual turnover with the make or model filter a certain brand and model of the product can be selected product specification filter allows the user to select the different specifications as per the requirement these specifications are termed as global parameters and these have an impact on the product price different products displayed as per the golden parameters can be compared as well it is important to know that gem recommends selection of allowed values for each of the golden parameters for defining your bid please go through each before proceeding this is recommended to receive specific offering for your bid let me tell you next about the parameters for which you haven't selected any value the gem portal not only shows the number of product specifications selected but it also allows you actions for the remaining values this will consider all values for remaining golden parameters this will consider selected products value as your choice for remaining golden parameters this will take you back to the previous screen to select parameters values manually after this an option of selecting a reference price is given to the user bidders will have to code below the offer price chosen by you after clicking on the button of bid the process of bid finalization begins let us see the steps involved technical specification of the product is shown when you click on the specifications button click on the product name now you can view the consignee and the quantity which you had filled in earlier an excel sheet containing the list of consignees can also be downloaded details give you details about your bid bid duration is to be selected between 10 to 21 days you can edit the ending time bid life cycle here is the period in which the buyer has to complete the entire life cycle that is technical evaluation financial evaluation and order creation of bid process bid offer validity will also be set up by the user any other document preference of startup etc should be mentioned at this stage by selecting the appropriate options here emd or epbg may be selected for requesting it from the seller for 5 lakhs onward both emd and epbg are allowed range of emd is 0.5 to 5 percentage of estimated price and epbg is 2 to 10 percentage of estimated price advisory bank verifies the sfms of the emd and epbg during bid verification of the seller user can select any bank if splitting of quantity is required click yes here and divide the quantity and percentage after deciding the number of sellers to be split it into click the price match option to l1 as per the need user is allowed to make purchase preference to up to 5 mse sellers if their offer price is within 15% price range of the non msc l1 seller and they are top msc seller on the term and conditions page special terms and conditions are given for specific category of products as per the need these additional terms and conditions may be added as under each category many preformatted clauses are given after agreeing to the terms and conditions the bid document is successfully created The buyer can now cross verify the details and then further with OTP verification the bid may be verified using user's registered mobile number. Do we have similar provisions on the gem portal for ordering services? It's quite alike but comes with certain changes as compared to ordering a product on gem. Gem. You can create a bid Let me tell you more about it. Log in to the Gem portal with the user ID and password. 
Select the service first to begin with bid creation. Go to the shop by category and select services. Details of the services are mentioned. Once the service is selected, you can read through the details and terms of the service by the tabs mentioned. Also, filters will appear on the screen. Apply the filters to move ahead in the process of bid creation. Before moving to filters, the user has to select service details. In service details, contract start and end dates and minimum wage, including PF, ESI, EDLI, PF admin charges and other allowances are to be selected. Also, number of service days in a month is to be selected. After this, by clicking on the tab of Select Consignee, State, Delivery Location and Number of Personnel Required has to be added. This will enlist all the options on the screen. Along with the options, the user can see different types of filters on the screen. After selecting category and number of working days in a week, administrative filter may be used if required. If the service selected is above 5 lakhs, we will need to compare at least three different services and then compare button will be activated. At the comparing stage, you can select a service provider by using the button Add to Cart. After selecting, you will reach the screen where you have the details of the service. You can download the comparison sheet. Click on Bid. Click on Confirm for proceeding ahead. Many other details may now be edited in the process that lies ahead. Specifications of the service is shown when you click on the Specifications button. You may change the specifications. Minimum capping may also be given at this stage. Click on the service selected. Now you can view the consignee and the details which you had filled in earlier. An Excel sheet can also be downloaded of the consignees. Details give you details about your bid. Bid duration is to be selected between 10 to 21 days. You can edit the ending time. Bid life cycle here is the period in which the buyer has to complete the entire life cycle that is technical evaluation, financial evaluation and order creation of bid process. Bid offer validity will also be set up by the user. Any other document, preference of startup etc. should be mentioned at this stage by selecting the appropriate options. Here, EMD or EPBG may be selected for requesting it from the seller. For 5 lakhs onward, both EMD and EPBG are allowed. Range of EMD is 0.5 to 5 percentage of estimated price and EPBG is 2 to 10 percentage of estimated price. Advisory Bank verifies the SFMS of the EMD and EPBG during bid verification of the seller user can select any bank. On the Terms and Conditions page, special terms and conditions are given for specific category of products. As per the need, these additional terms and conditions may be added as under each category many pre-formatted clauses are given. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, the bid document is successfully created. The buyer can now cross-verify the details and then further with OTP verification, the bid may be verified using user's registered mobile number. I want to know how I can view the bids by different sellers and can award them the bid. Let me take you through the process. You have to log in to the GEM portal. Once you log in with your username and password, you will be directed to your dashboard. You can view all your bids here. Choose the bids you want to open. You can either cancel the bid or can open technical bid. Review after opening the technical bid. Click accept or reject as per technical specifications. If you reject, you have to mention the reason for it. After verifying your technical specifications, clicking on open financial bid you need to verify by OTP. This will take you to L1, L2 and L3 sellers list. Select the L1 seller and award the bid to him or her by clicking on Open and Award. Here you need to fill the mandatory details and upload financial approval file after clicking on Create Order. After clicking the Continue button, you have created the bid. Clicking on Open Audit, you can see the audit trail of purchase done on GEM portal. Let me now explain the process of CRAC, Consignee Receipt 
and acceptance generation. After logging in, click on products or services and then on contracts. After clicking on consignee view, you have to click on process order. Details are visible here. Now after clicking on process, enter the delivery date, goods receipt voucher number, goods receipt voucher date and quantity and click submit. This generates PRC successfully. Now the user has to accept the quantity after inspecting the consignment completely. If the inspection was done by an expert, you would need an inspection certificate as well. Further to this, after verifying by OTP, your CRAC process is complete and your order status is eligible for payment. To process a payment through PFMS, the buyer needs to draft a bill first by logging in and clicking on bills in the dashboard. After logging in, process bill is to be clicked for the bill which is to be processed. Here, reference signed document is available. Scroll down to view buyer details and seller invoice details. If the deliveries are not made as per the screen, the buyer has the option of selecting whether liquidated damages are to be imposed or not. If yes is selected, reason has to be given as well. Click on Save Draft Bill. For further processing, DDO needs to log in. Now DDO can view the bills drafted by the buyer and by clicking on the process bill and after verifying by OTP, DDO can save the final bill. The system will indicate the payment has been initiated. Click on Make Payment to push this bill into PFMS. The status of the payment may be checked by clicking on Get Payment Status. Remember, after checking the payment status after pushing the bill, in case payment has failed, the DDO has the option to return the bill to the buyer by clicking Return to Buyer. Also, DDO can make offline payment as shown and needs to fill the payment details as shown. That brings us to the end of this module. Thank you for your participation in this module on Government eMarketplace. By now, you should be able to State the purpose and objectives of GEM Explain the ecosystem of GEM from the buyer's side State the prerequisites for buyer registration on GEM Explain the process of bid creation on GEM State the process of awarding a bid on GEM Describe the process of processing an order through CRAC Explain the PFMS payment method. Thank you.